discussing trimming down the fur on Henry's muzzle and inserting his eyes. Okay, here's the practice piece that I will be trimming the fur down for Henry's muzzle. And what I use is the beard trimmer. This is my husband's. And what I'll do is trim the fur down. And you want to practice first before you actually do the What we want to do is picture a bear with a muzzle in this area and the fur is going to be trimmed down. You don't want to take it all the way down to the skin. You just want to trim off this higher light fuzzy stuff. I think we have it pretty much the way we want him to look for now. I'm going to be showing you how to insert the eyes and this is approximately where the eyes are going to be and then we'll trim up a little more around the eyes once the eyes have been inserted. Okay, for Henry's eyes, I've purchased these eyes on uh, the websites that I have included for the bear. These are glass eyes and they have little loops on the back to where your thread is going to go into. Um, first thing I do is I gently squeeze this together, the little metal loop. And you have to be careful because if you squeeze too hard, you can Again, crack I the glass. Again, squeeze it together and, and I make it elongated because this way it fits into a smaller hole that we're going to be creating um, in Henry's head for the eye. This is the thread that I use. It's a waxed thread. Again, you can get this on the bear site, the bear supply site, uh, on the websites that I've provided. I use this owl to create the hole in Henry's head where the needle and the eye is going to be going into. I'm going to be talking about Henry's eyes and you basically want them where your seam allowances are on the head and a way to tell if your eyes are put on here so they're not crooked is to use, I use pins that have large heads on them. These have the flowery heads and you can look in a mirror with Henry's face, the bear's face, facing the mirror and for some reason you get a better, you can see better in a mirror if the eyes are on, going to be on uniformly. You don't want one up higher than the other. So that's just a little trick that I use. Now we're going to be threading Threading the needle. The first thing we do is we put the thread into the eye. And you want the thread cut long enough to where it's double stranded. And you insert both strands into the needle. should look like this. 
So you take your awl and you create a hole. Don't be afraid. And you twist it around a little bit. Doesn't need to be a really big hole, just big enough for the needle and your eye of the glass eye, this metal part to go into the bear. Now what I do is you bring it straight back and then actually you, you bring it down. You have to be careful. And I try to get it to come towards the center and the base of Henry's head. You pull it through. Separate your string and you're going to put one back through the head, one portion of the string back through the head, and you want to go in, this is sometimes very difficult, but you want it to go in the same hole that the thread came out through the head in, and this is said than done and you just have to part the fur and the best thing to do is to insert the string I don't know if you can see this reason that you want to do this is when you're going to be pulling both strands back through the head to anchor the eye in, you don't want to create a dimple in the back of his head. You want the string to catch on the inside of the head into, into the filling. So this is why you do this, do it this way. Now you're going to come out on either side of his eye and you can feel it pushing. Just make sure you don't stab your finger. You pull it, the, your needle through and pull your string. Okay, so you have the eye embedded in the head and one of your strings. So we're going to do the same thing with the next one. And again, you want it to go in the center of the hole that you created. And you want to try to come up on the other side of the eye, to where you have a string on either side of the eye. Here's this string and here's the needle with the other one. Now you pull them through and you remove the needle. Now this is also, you might, you can go and look at this through the mirror or into the mirror to see how far you want his eyeball to go in or you can just feel it. Now when you're pulling on the string, you should not feel where his head is going to create a dimple. If it does, sometimes you can just pull on the back of the head and it will release the string from the skin. Okay, we don't want to put it too far in. I mean, we're going to have to trim the hair around the eye, but we don't want to have to trim it too much. So, we've pulled it. Now we're going to do a triple wrap. And you 
see that his eye is secure. Now I do another triple wrap. And his eye will be secure on his head. Now what do you what we need to do with this excess string is I trim the ends off to make it even. Put it back in the needle. And then I bury the thread into the head, or at least most of it. So I'll bring it out somewhere in the back. Pull it through. Okay, we've, um, I've cut away the fur around one of Henry's eyes and trimmed up the muzzle a little more to get it to blend in. As you can see, his eye is lost on this side because I haven't trimmed the, the fur away. So what I'm going to do now is start trimming around this eye and the thing to remember is that once you cut it, you can't put it back. So I use my very sharp scissors with the pointed ends. Uh, these are by Friskers. And I just trim away a little bit at a time. And as you're trimming away, you'll see that he starts to develop a character all his own. So I use my rake, which again you can find at a pet store or at your neighborhood grocery store. And what I do is I comb the fur in the direction that it should be going. And you see that his eye is here. So I just start trimming away. And I watch it as I trim to make sure that I don't cut too much off. So mainly I just start with creating an opening around here and just trim away the littlest, the smallest amount possible. And as I'm trimming you'll see that I'm blowing the fur away and I keep combing. Okay, we have both of the eyes, the trimming is completed. As you're working with constructing the nose and you let it sit for a day, you might see a couple of more items that you want to trim or smooth out. But um, I'm satisfied with him now. I might change my mind and cut a few pieces of fur later on, but right now I think we're just going to leave it alone and we'll go to the next episode of creating the nose and the mouth.